Hi everybody, welcome to the OAGRC. It's going to be a shorter video today uh, because we're just going to be doing the body on the Cougar. So the chassis is built and a little shakedown has occurred and it's all running now very nicely. So what we're now going to do is concentrate on doing our body. So we've got the main body shell to cut out here. We've got these little uh, wing um, parts here. They go either side of the wing. Uh, so the wing goes something like that uh, to build up the rear wing. And then I've already cut or snapped that one out. Um, so I just need to sand down on the edges uh, and give that a wash to all the holes in the top. And that's ready to go. Um, this doesn't have any holes that need to be drilled in it by the looks of it because um, it secures the side by Velcro, which is interesting. I've never had a body that secures by Velcro before, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut out, give it a good wash, apply the, the window masks which come in the kit, uh, and then we'll have a look at what colours we're going to put on and mask it up. So I will see you in a bit. Probably can't see that. But that is some of the thickest leg satin that I have used. Look at that. Really thick. Really tough. Very, very, very nice quality. Body of the wing are now cut out, and I, uh, I put the body onto the chassis, and it looks blooming marvellous. I really hope that I do this justice when I paint it up, because it just looks really, really cool. Right, let's go and give it a wash, and then I'm going to start masking it up. So we've made a start. I masked up the body last night, and we've hit it with a little bit of fluorescent red to get us started. We're going to build the layers up, uh, probably put three layers on, back it with white, then peel the mask off, move the mask back, remask it, and then orange with back white, move it back, yellow, back white, peel off, the rest of it white. Happy days. Just a sneak peek as to how this is going. I think it's looking pretty cool, actually. I've had a few issues, but on the whole, it's uh, it's coming along nicely. It's the first time I've done anything with this much masking and this many layers. So we'll see if I do get it right or whether it's just a complete and utter mess. But it's just a white layer. That's backed on now, that's just drying. And then we'll be remasking it up down to the yellow. I use this uh, bag. It was a piping bag that I found in the drawer. I hope uh, Mrs. OAG is not too upset with me nicking her stuff out of the kitchen. But I got a bit of overspray on the back of the body when I was spraying the first bit at the front. I'd underestimated how much when you spray stuff sort of drifts around afterwards so the bag is protecting the rest of the body i will certainly do that again if i'm doing this sort of stuff here is where we are at so the front part has gone about as well as i can expect it to and there's some funny patterns come from the masking tape but i mean i'm pretty pretty pleased with it however this side here and this side here, I had some overspray. So I decided to make it look like I intended to do that. I just went with it and oversprayed the rest of the body in kind of like a funky mix of the neon from the front. So it's all over the back body now. So it just look like I've just kind of oversprayed it really. But I think once I put some decals on, I don't think it'll look too bad. And actually the back bit now looks quite neat compared to the front. It almost looks like it sort of washes out into the back. The wing is going to remain clear. 
uh, because because of the way this is sort of stuck on, I don't trust myself to paint it, to be quite honest. And again, some decals on the wing. Uh, I think that'll look pretty cool. So that's the way we're going to go now. So I'm going to hit this with some silver, just to sort of put an extra coat on the back. And then we're going to see what that looks like once the film comes off it. Right. Let's get the window masks off and see what it looks like underneath. I wasn't sure about these uh, window masks. So a little bit of a bleed on that one. Nothing that I'm gonna overly worry about. This one didn't line up perfectly, unfortunately, but You're doing all right. They are all right. Famous last words. Right. The roof off as well. I mean, the one thing I'm not is I'm never a hundred percent neat, but I think that looks pretty good. Right, let's get the film off. He says confidently, assuming that there is an easy way into the film. There it is. I am pretty pleased with how that's turned out. It's not perfect, but it looks really ace. Look. And then the overspray, you know, yeah, it could be a bit better, but I mean, I'm really pleased. Really pleased with how that's come out. Now, so put some decals on. Pick what goes best, stick some on the wing, and then we'll work out how we mount it up to the body. There we go, guys. After a couple of weeks of messing about, I have finally finished my Cougar. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. So, what happened? The front paint work worked out reasonably nicely. And then I oversprayed, um, where do I overspray badly? This side here, the piping bag technique failed and some of the yellow paint came over here. So I thought, do you know what? Might as well just overspray all of it. So what I did is I took the canister and just misted over the back in lots of different colors. And actually, I quite like the way it looks. It all sort of blends in to that sort of the white becomes almost like an off-white at the back now because of all the different colours that are blended in. I kept the rear wing clear because I quite like the look of that. I saw Andy Robinson had done the same thing with his rear wing and I quite like that, so that's what I've chosen to do. And yeah, got to play around with the decals, do something funky on the top with the paw prints. Got the Cougar on the front there with the Team Schumacher World Champions. 
really like the way it's come out. There's a couple of little spots around the windows that I could have probably done a little bit better, but you know, from a distance, you don't want to see that when it's tearing around the Orchard Raceway. All you're going to see is a sort of fireball hitting the track. So all that's left to do now is to get this up on the track and see how it runs. And I'm not going to time a lap. We're going to leave that till next year and see how fast it really is. But I haven't driven it yet. I think it's going to be ace. But I thought I'd give you guys the privilege of seeing it before I, um, yeah, go and batter it up. Brilliant stuff. Massive thanks to the RC Elf for making this content possible. I hope you are very pleased with the finished outcome. I know I am. I can't wait to see it on the track. Uh, and let's see what we don't break. Please don't break anything. I don't want to take this back apart again. Um, I really enjoyed the build. Um, in the end, I had some real frustrations, but on balance, I think those frustrations have given it real character. And I really love the way this has turned out. I really love the way it looks. I like the way it's gone together, actually, on reflection. I think it looks like a really nice bit of kit, and I can't wait to enjoy driving this over the next couple of years around the Orchard Raceway and seeing how quickly it goes and how high up the leaderboard we get it. Until then, guys, make sure whatever you do, you have some fun, and I will see you all soon on the OAGRC. Bye.